in the Supreme of 1915, the Dardanelles was the most important stretch of water in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, and most men, sorry. Well, here we are at uh, Gallipoli, Gebeluku, I believe in Turkish, but uh, it's about 95 degrees and humid. People are chugging water like mad, but the big problem, or one of the big problems with the Gallipoli campaign was getting fresh water to the troops. It was actually shipped in from uh, Egypt. The wells weren't uh, um, deep and big enough to support the thousands of troops that were here. So uh, they uh, tried to convert seawater. Um, they built cisterns, but uh, that was one of the big uh, debilitating, moral-boosting factors was the lack of fresh water for the troops. Most of them are actually buried under the tents, and some of them not. Some of them are on top of the grave, so it's believed to be buried in the cemetery. A cigarette from 1915. <laughs> <laughs> On the peninsula, Anzac and Turkish trenches total about 351 miles. <laughs> Every mosque or holy place has a place to wash because five days, five times a day we pray, they wash. and also much wider too. On the peninsula, Anzac and Turkish trenches total about 351 miles. Every mosque or holy place has a place to wash because five days, five times a day we pray, they wash.